and welcome to another video on the channel. And in this video, I am going to be teaching you that how you can make your very own custom YouTube banner with Photoshop CS2, which appears like it has been made with the latest version of Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. Click on File, then New, and then choose this width at 2560 and length as 1440. Then maximize the window and then place the template of banner which is here and click place then click check mark so the middle area is only visible so make a black rectangle on the uppermost side of this template and bottom of this template and then the side boxes because that area where it is written that text and logo safe area that is visible on any kind of device any mobile and so in that area you will add your all social media links and your animations graphics or anything now drag it oh let me just fix it wait a minute okay. now drag this layer to the bottom of all these black boxes and disable the visibility of these side boxes for now and then we are going to make the background of our logo by clicking on blending options and then gradient overlay you can go with anything you can go with two stroke gradient or three stroke gradient in this tutorial i am teaching you with three stroke so this color stop we will be doing this color so copy oh okay Okay, this will be good. Now copy this code here. Press OK, and then again click on the another color stop, and then paste that code, and then press OK. And now in the middle one, you can make it as a dark black. You can go with any black or any color scheme you like. So I'm going with dark black. Now this will be the background of our banner and then we are going to write any channel name maybe click it okay let's take click it and yeah click check mark and then let's drag it to the middle of our banner now we are select all and then Choose the font Call of Ops Duty, and let's make it 50. Okay, and then click check mark. And then we are going to make it in the center, like that. And okay, now we will be doing some blending by clicking on blending options. Then gradient overlay and now click on any color stop and then this this shape here just drag it to the very end of black you can also drag this white color stop but that is that's do not looking good according to my choice according to me but you can do it but just this thing looks good and then press ok but you can also choose the light black color in the black color stop but uh, but as you can see it's not looking that much great so we will go with this tone ok so that this looks good and now we are going to add some drop shadow to it with opacity 100 
distance zero spread and size according to your choice i'm making it like that let's see it and okay now let's press okay and we are done with our click it and now we are going to add a social media link so we are going to place our social media png logos so we will be going to place uh, the facebook logo and instagram and twitter where is it okay so let's place twitter first now we will drag the now we will resize the twitter logo by pressing shift to resize it in aspect ratio like that okay this looks good uh, nice now click check mark now we will take it here so now we will uh, enable the visibility okay our click it is not in between so let's make it in between by clicking on that layer and dragging it to middle of our canvas now we will add some stroke to the png twitter logo like that and the thickness will be 5 and color will be white ok that's look good like that now we will write at the rate click with the font evogria with italic version ok and let's write at the rate click Okay, now let's select all and decrease the size of this text. Now click check mark. Now we will place it in front of the Twitter logo. But now we will again resize the Twitter logo by pressing Ctrl plus T and holding shift and then resize it to resize it in aspect ratio now click check mark and place it here ok and now we will place at the right click ok this looks good uh, ok this looks good now we will change the color of at the right click we will make it white ok and ok now we will just duplicate the at the rate click by pressing ctrl plus j and then place facebook logo and then we will resize it by holding shift to resize it in aspect ratio like that press check mark and then place it here and then we will copy paste layer style of twitter png logo and then paste layer style on facebook png logo and then we will drag the duplicated layer of at the rate click in front of facebook logo like that and this looks amazing like that and now we will place the Instagram logo here it is and then we are going to resize it by pressing by holding shift to resize it in aspect ratio and then click check mark and place it here and then again ok this looks good ok press check mark and place it here and now we will 
again drag the at the rate click copy in front of first of all let's play paste layer style and then drag the at the rate click copy in front of instagram logo and now let's disable the visibility of side boxes and delete them okay so now you are done with your very own custom YouTube banner so now let's save it okay so click on file then save as on desktop wherever you want I'm naming it as my banner and selecting the format as JPEG and then save okay now let's see how our very own custom made banner looks Okay, so this is our banner and this was about for this video. I hope to see you in my next video.